everybody's having a great Monday. Um, I did not record all weekend. I didn't do anything. Nope, I didn't do anything. I just laid around. I wasn't feeling good. Um, so I didn't want to record anything because I wasn't feeling good. I didn't want y'all to be bored on just watching me just lay here I guess plus I didn't put my teeth in all weekend so so let me put my teeth in I already brushed my teeth let me just go ahead and get these guys in Okay guys, I got my teeth in. Um, let's see how long they last today. I'm using the Dr. B's. Um, they said it's supposed to last a pretty long time, but we'll see because Friday when I tried it, it didn't last. Well, it lasted the eight hours, nine hours or whatever time I took them off Friday. I think it was like 10 hours. Actually, it might have been 12 hours altogether because I didn't take them off till that night and I put them on at 5.30 in the morning. So yeah, about 12 hours they lasted. I mean, they probably would have stayed on a little longer if I was, if I was going somewhere, but I took them off. Um, we'll see how long they last today. It's 5. It's 5.50 in the morning, so we'll see how they last throughout the day today. And uh, I'll let y'all know throughout the day how they're doing. But as of right now, they're in. They feel good. Um, they feel I feel them tight in my mouth right now, which is good. Um... Don't mind the hair. So, yeah, pretty much all weekend. I didn't do anything. That's why I didn't vlog. Y'all know that my husband works every other weekend. So, pretty much when he's not working, that's when we do stuff. But when he is working, I don't do anything. I just stay home. Um, he works. So, I mean, I mean, there's not much to vlog. And I was going to do my hair routine, uh, straightening it. But I didn't do that either because I didn't even put in my teeth all weekend long. Like, literally, I did not put my teeth in. I think I put them in, like, once or twice just to eat something, and then I took them out. I didn't even leave them in that long. So, that being the case, I, you know, it wasn't much to record. Um... I had a rough last couple of nights. Uh, my back has been hurting like you wouldn't believe. Like it's been hurting. I could not move on my bed. I could not move to the side. I could not move to the other side. I couldn't even get out of bed. That's how bad it was. So my back was hurting and I just, I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling good at all. My back was just in pain like super bad like my pain was like a beyond 10 you know when you have a skill when the doctors tell you hey what's your pain level one through ten mine was a beyond 10 like it was like a 50 that's how bad it was hurting and i was just letting y'all know about my back problem yeah i told you about my back problem on here before so 
Oh, just letting y'all know. I mean, that's a part of my life, too. I mean, that's part of my journey, too, because my back, I've been having a lot of problems with my back. Um, if y'all didn't know, y'all are just barely subscribing. If y'all just barely, if y'all haven't looked at videos before, um, or if you're new subscribers, I have a lower back problem. I had got in a car accident in 2013, I think, 12, 13, I think it was 2012. I had got in a car accident. I was off of work for about a year. Um, went back to work because I was feeling better. Um, it is 2018 now and I am having such pain now that it's not even funny. It doesn't want to go away. I have a bulge disc. I have a torn disc. I have my L4, L5 messed up. Um... I'm standing up, you could, I mean, I look like I'm standing up straight, but if you look down, I'm not standing up straight. I'm kind of like slunched in, like where my back is like, I'm not putting pressure on my lower back, so I'm like kind of off of it a little, like my, how would I, like my butt's in and my back's in like that, so just the only part that's out is the about my lower back if I stand up straight like that let me see see I stood up straight I have pain so I have to kind of slouch down a little just so I can get that so I won't have that pressure on my lower back like if I stand up straight I have pressure right here on the lower back and it is pain galore like right now um, when I was laying down last night, I had to literally move to one side to the other. Like if I was on my left side, I had to lay on my back for a little while and then move to my right side. And then I had to wait a little while before I moved back to my back and I can't lay on my stomach anymore. Um, it's too much pain to lay on my stomach. So I don't lay on my stomach anymore. So I can only lay on my back and it's painful either way because I cannot move if like I get locked up my back locks up and I can't move nowhere and it sucks but anyways I got these teeth in um let's see how today goes because pretty much every day at work has sucked pretty much because of the one lady thinks she's the boss, you know, the other lady that is the boss, and, you know, so forth. Y'all know the deal. Y'all seeing what's going on. So, let's see how today goes. And let me go get dressed because I need to do my hair. I need to go straighten my hair and I need to get dressed. So, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. And I stopped recording because um, I went to the one store that y'all saw where I stopped recording. And I was going to put gas there. They didn't have no unleaded gas. It had a sign on the gas pump saying, sorry, no unleaded. 
sorry for any inconvenience. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? And that's where I go to get my drink. So I was like, you know what? I'm not getting my drink today. So I didn't record that I, I well, I started recording that I was going to another store. And um, I recorded like halfway. I didn't record all the way because I got frustrated because I had to go to another store. So I went to the other store and I got me two waters. There were two for two for two. They were a dollar a piece if you buy two of them. So I bought two waters and I put the rest in gas. It was like $17 maybe. Um, I hate the way my lips cut off my video for a minute. My husband actually butt dialed me. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I was like, hello? <laughs> he just sent me a message back. I butt dialed you. He's got to be the silliest husband in the world. Anyways, what I was saying is... Um... Um, I went to go get gas at this other place and I don't like this thing you have to, there's two buttons on this thing one button is for the top part the other button is for the bottom part and I always forget which button is for what I always forget. Anyways, um, hang on. Hold that thought. Anyways, so I went to the other store. I put the gas. Can you believe that I saw these people, this lady and her daughter, they stopped. I didn't even see them put gas. They were parked right next to me. I went to go pay for my gas and get my, my water. And when I was coming back, I saw her. And she had a garbage bag. And she was putting her trash inside the trash can at Walmart. Like, at their gas pump. It was like, she was throwing her garbage inside. Like, I, I don't know. I don't understand people that do that. I mean, you have, you have your... Unless they don't have trash where they live. I don't know if they pick up the trash where they live. Maybe they live in an apartment. or I don't know. Whatever. You know. However they do it. But they were throwing their trash inside the trash can there at the store. And I'm sitting there. I'm walking back to my car. And I'm like, look at this lady throwing her trash in their trash. I mean, I know... Wherever they live, they have a trash can, a dumpster, or whatever. I mean, the people at the stores, they have their trash cans, like, for, you know, little things here and there. Not for big old garbage bag full of trash. That's kind of weird. Like, I don't understand that. I don't understand why people do that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you how you feel about people that throw away their household garbage in the trash cans at the stores or at in their dumpsters and stuff like that. It's like a lot of people always try to cheat their way through life. Like, okay, well, if I throw my stuff in their dumpster, I won't get paid for it. They're charging you either way. You're paying for water. You're paying for water, you're paying for the sewer, you're paying for the garbage. Everything's all included. You know what I mean? Because, like, now what they're doing, they give you a trash can now. And you pay for the trash can, you pay for the garbage, you pay for your sewer, you pay for your water. Everything's all included. So why would you want to go throw it in somebody else's trash can? I, I just don't understand that. It just... Stu it's stupid. I think it's stupid. I don't know. Just let me know in the comments how y'all how take that. But, 
Oh, I actually, I did get me a coffee too. I got me a croissant. Um, I did like a little video going inside the donut shop. I don't get the donuts. You know, I did get donut holes Friday. I didn't even eat them. I did not eat them. I did not want them. I did not. I just, no. Uh, I gave them to my friend at work. I was like, hey, here. I don't want them. I just, I bought them. I thought I was going to want them, but I went, she's like, what's wrong with them? You know, you know how some people, they do stuff to their food and, or they'll play a joke on the people. I was like, there's nothing wrong with them. Don't worry. I took one bite of one and I didn't want it. I had already felt, right as soon as I took a bite out of it, I felt myself like, like that. Anyways, so, so yeah, I, I got me a croissant. And I like the croissants. They're not like real heavy. I know it's bread, but I'm not going to eat nothing the rest of the day. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll eat the croissant. So they don't, a lot of people don't know at that donut place. I don't like this right here. A lot of people don't know at that donut place that they sell croissants like by themselves. Uh, you have to ask for it. And um, I asked one day, I was like, do y'all sell them by themselves? Because I asked them one day if they sold the croissants and I was like, because I don't want, because the way they have them there is they have egg, bacon, cheese inside of it or they have sausage and you know egg and cheese inside of it and I don't eat none of that stuff I don't eat egg I don't eat bacon actually I don't eat nothing I I don't have the taste I like I don't the flavor like if I bite into something I don't have the flavor and it's just like me swallowing the food like nothing just to have food in my stomach I don't I don't crave it. I don't like, you know, like, um, like this weekend, I didn't eat nothing. Uh, I probably just ate, I ate some peanut butter. I ate some chips with a little bit of cheese on it. And that was pretty much it. Oh, I ate ice cream yesterday. And some chips with cheese. But that was it. But the thing is, I couldn't taste it. Like, lately, I haven't had the taste in my mouth. Like, the flavor. I cannot taste the flavor on the food. I can't taste the, like, nothing. Like, I don't understand why. Why I don't have the taste for anything. It's like, okay, I want to eat this today, but I start eating it. And I can't even taste it. Like, nothing. Let me know in the comments if anybody else that has dentures, if they have that same feeling. Or if it's just me. Because I don't know. I don't understand why I don't have the taste. Like, I can't taste any food. Um, like, I'm going to drink coffee, but all it's going to be is just, feels like water. I mean... I'm not even be able to taste it. Like, that's why I don't eat that much. Because I can't taste anything. I see stuff that I want to eat. And I'm like, oh, I used to eat that a long time ago. And, man, it was so good. And then when I eat it, it's like, I can't even taste it. Like, my taste buds are all jacked up, you know? Like, I don't understand why. I don't understand get my taste buds like all intact again <laughs> I don't know I don't know how I don't know what the deal is I don't know what's wrong with my taste buds or anything but um but yeah I just they're just all out of whack but anyways so yeah I that's why I don't eat that much I mean I'll eat here a little bit here or there a little bit I mean, I'll eat the Nowrelators. I can actually taste the Nowrelators. I feel like I'm talking weird. Like, my denture is down a little. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. I feel 
like it's low. Anyways, um, so yeah, I, um, I don't know what's wrong with my denture. So yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know about that because that's been bothering me for a while. This old man at the gate, he would bring me, um, candy all the time when I worked in this other department. He brought me a big old box of, uh, what are they called? The little fish, uh, they're like Cheez-Its, but they're the little fishies, go fishes or whatever they're called. And, um, he brought me a big old thing of that. He brought me candy all the time, but now that I'm in this other department, I guess it's too far to go, and he don't find me nothing no more. And if I want candy, I would have to stop at the gate when he's there, and um, so I can get some. He'll bring out like a big old bowl, and he's like, yeah, however much you want. But that was when I had the taste for it. But now I don't have, if I get the candy, I give it to my husband. I'm like, here babe, here's some candy. He always makes fun of that old man. He's like, oop, there's your boyfriend. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? My boyfriend, really? But he just jokes around like that. Because I would tell him, look, he gave me some candy. He goes, oh, he likes you. I was like, no, he don't. I was like, don't even go there. But he just starts laughing. He just jokes around with me. It's actually a pretty day. Pretty sunny day today. Sun's in my eyes. Look at this. I mean, but you never can tell. It might rain later on. I don't know. But anyways, 90, 87, 90, 95. Sorry, I'm reading the trailers. Oh, there's four out here. Dang, people are already working. Anyways, so yeah. Of course, 90, 88, 90, 97. Oh, and a tire. Somebody left their tire in there. Anyways, so yeah, I'm here at work already. And just looking at the car, I already know that it's already going to be a jacked up day. Looking at the cars that are here. I already know that it's going to be a jacked up day. And I need to see if I can make an appointment. My doctor's appointment, instead of having it on Friday, I need to make it on Tuesday. I mean on Thursday. Because I'm running running out of meds. And um, I never run out of my medication. But this month I did. I don't understand why. I mean, usually I'll have enough until that day. Well, I have enough to the, the day of my appointment, but I don't want to be completely out of my pills. So I'd rather get like a day ahead. Let me put y'all right here so I can talk to you. Oh, you almost fell. But anyways, um, so yeah, I would, I need a... Maybe if I can call and make my appointment, um, maybe Thursday, go and see him that day and get my medicine that day. By the time I get back into town, I would have to go all the way to the next town to go get medicine. I'll probably have to pick up some food because... My husband works that night. Pick him up something to eat. And then come back home. And. Um, have to hurry up. It's already time to go in. <gasps> oh my god. See it. Okay. I gotta go.
It's already 7.30. I didn't even notice it. I need to go clock in real quick and then run back to my car because I dropped my medicine under the seat and I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it out. I hope I can because that's the only one I brought for my back and because I don't bring medicine. Oh, I got to tell you something that the little, that new girl told me. One day she was telling me that she had, hold on, I'll tell you in a minute. Let me run in this place and clock in and then I'll tell y'all. So I'll be right back. Okay, the other day the new girl was telling me that there was something that she told me that she told me that she had scoliosis or something like that. And uh that she has problems with her back and problems with her knee. I don't know, something like that. And I was like okay you know um anyways i was like okay that you know i understand that i understand you know your back hurts when you're on the forklift whatever blah 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 well she told me that maybe on wednesday or thursday friday we were talking that morning before the lady um uh, told us what are y'all doing you know you have a lot to do she told me, she was like, well, I used to take hydrocodone or something like that. And I was like, oh, really? And uh, she was like, yeah. She goes, but I don't have insurance and I haven't been able to, to take my medicine. I was like, oh, okay. I understand what you mean. Don't mind my car, guys. It's all dirty. It's all dirty. Not dirty. It's just... I keep a blanket and a jacket in here. And my husband keeps his hats in here. Anyways. Um, so, she was saying... She was saying... She was telling me that she took the hydrocodone. And I was like, oh, really? I was like, oh, that's nice. I was like, oh, that's nice. And she was like, she goes, well, well, since I can't get mine, she goes, at least I know somebody that I can get some from. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I ain't giving you none of my medicine. I quit spray on, guys. And get my candy. Glasses, my croissant, my other candy, my coffee, and that's it. Anyways, so yeah, she expected me to give her my medicine because she doesn't have medicine. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm not giving you my medicine. So... She thinks I'm going to give her my medicine. I'm not. I'll talk to you in a minute. Hey guys, just want to let you know, it's kind of like a slow morning today because half the people ain't here. So yeah, or one's coming in late. The other one's just called in. The old man, he's sick again. Oh my God, I feel so bad for him because he's sick again. Hopefully he gets better. But um he got sick Friday night, they said, and they put him in the hospital, and he had to, uh, they put one of those little, um, pee bags. He had, he has to carry around, like, a pee bag with him. I don't know why, but, um, anyways, so, yeah, hopefully he's okay. I'll be praying for him. Hopefully he gets better. But, anyways, um, outfit of the day. Anyways, just want to let y'all know what was going on. You know, kind of a slow morning. Um, I did put on a little wrap. So I can sweat on my stomach a little. I mean, I don't need it that much, but it helps me uh, keep my stomach sucked in. 
Because when I don't have nothing, I'm just like, it just hangs out. And I, I don't like that. So I put a wrap around it. Hopefully, um, I can last all day long with it. I'm sure I can. And just until 8 o'clock, I mean 4 o'clock. Uh, when I get off, I'll take it off. And um, I'm going to do this like every day. I wish I could do my legs and wrap them. But, um, nah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll just I'll just see how my stomach goes for right now with the wrap on. And if it's doing good and helping me lose a few inches off my stomach, then I'll do my legs. But I'll wait and see. But anyways, um, so yeah, um, so, so far everything's good. Um, I know a lot of people haven't came in, kind of crazy. Um, one part of the floor, they did a uh, cleaning this weekend and yeah, there's a lot of dirt on the floor. So yeah, I'm going to be sweeping in a little bit, which I don't have to, but I mean, just so I won't be in the office but I'm gonna be in the office for right now I'm gonna do some stuff in there because um, I don't have nothing to do right now um, I'm gonna make some labels and stuff so so yeah I'll take y'all with me maybe show y'all what I'm doing and uh, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit so guys it's been one of them days like the new girl showed up, started talking about Friday, you know, that they didn't leave till 7.30, crying about the way that the supposedly boss ladies act, and, um, I don't understand. I mean, if you're so mad about the way she acts, the way she does stuff, yes, I know I have a problem with the way she is, but it's totally different from what she's doing with me and what she's saying with her you know what I mean like I can just blow mine off and just ignore it but the thing is the new girl comes and tells me her situation every day since she started and I told her from the beginning hey this this and this you know you need to watch yourself but yet she's inside the office telling her her business but you know what it's going to come back around and she's going to say Oh, well, she's over there talking about what I was saying, and she's over there talking about me. Mm-hmm, little girl, I told you from the beginning. Don't talk about your personal business here at, the, at work, because it goes in her mouth, it goes in her ears, and into everybody else's ears. Yeah. But hey, I didn't. I wonder... I mean, I told her what was going on. I told her what would happen. I mean, that's all her. If she wants everybody to know her business, go for it. Like me, I don't say nothing. I come to work. I do my job. I don't talk to nobody. I listen to everybody's situations of what's going on, what's doing, who's doing this, who's doing what, you know, what's going on. But I don't talk to everybody. Um, I keep my mouth shut. Even if I have a problem, I'm not going to tell nobody here. I will tell the bigger boss because if I say anything here, it's not going to get taken care of. It's not going to get done. So, I mean, that's just me. That's the way I see it. Um, it hasn't rained at all today so far. But guess what? We have mosquitoes the size of quarters. Yes, the size of quarters, like that big. No lies. I had to go and spray again some off on me because the mosquitoes were starting to bite me again. I put off on me this morning when I got to work. Everything was fine. I was good. You know, I sprayed myself. It's lunchtime, or well, it's a little after lunchtime, and I had to spray myself again because I can feel like the mosquitoes were biting my, my legs. And I sprayed my legs, but I had to spray my legs again. My neck, I felt them right here by my ears. 
my gosh. I mean, it's crazy. These mosquitoes are crazy. But um, I didn't take a lunch. I ran to the store. I took my time going to the store, so that's considered my lunch. I left it like at 11.35, and I got back at 12, so that was my lunch. I finished doing what I had to do, and now I'm outside. I'm not going back inside until 4 o'clock because I don't like listening to the bullshit that they do inside that. So, excuse my language, that they talk about inside the office. So, I'm just going to stay outside, you know, probably sweep or wait and walk around with the broom, like she said. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, well, you know, if she doesn't give a crap about what I do, then why should I, right? I mean, at least I'm doing something. Unlike her reading a book every freaking minute of the day and not doing her job. I don't even go to her for anything. I go to the other lady. I tell the other lady, hey, I'm going to be outside. I'm going to do this or I'm doing that. I do not tell that lady nothing because she always has attitude whenever I go in there to ask her a question. But yet, when they need something from me, oh, yeah. Oh, honey. Oh, darling. Oh, come and do this for me. Are you freaking kidding me? Just so I can do something for you? Oh, no, honey. You get it done whenever I'm ready to do it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do it like when they want me to do it. But, yeah. It's just been one of them days. I feel like I can't breathe. My back's still hurting. Um, I still have this wrap around my stomach. It's still, I feel like it's working. I feel like I'm sweating. Um... Yeah, my, yeah, my back's hurting real bad. But I'm going to sweep. I am going to sweep. I'm just going to take my time doing it. I'm not going to rush myself. I'm not going to pull myself, you know, to hurt myself. I'm just going to take my time. I have my anxiety going crazy right now. I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like, like, when I take a deep breath, like, I can't take a, a whole breath. Like, it just goes, like, halfway, and then I have to blow out. Because it, I can't take a deep breath. That's how my anxiety is. Like, my anxiety makes me feel like I can't take a deep breath. And I hate when that happens. But anyways. So, yeah. I'm just going to do this. And just take my time for the rest of the day. And I think I'm going to have to change my appointment. Friday appointment to probably Thursday. Maybe. If I can. Oh, since I'm hurting so bad. Yeah, I need to let them know what's going on because I can't stand this pain. It's bad. Like, it hurts bad. But anyways, alright guys. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, I'll be back in a little while. Let y'all know what's going on. Y'all know how it is here. Y'all know the drama. Y'all know what's going on. <laughs> Oh, plus my friend left, so that's one less person that we have here. Yeah. So, it's crazy today. It's a crazy day. But, I'll get through it. I don't know about everybody else, but I'll get through it. <laughs> I already took care of all my job. I already did all my work. Until they offload another truck, I'm done with everything I have to do. So, I mean, I could just go and do stuff here and there, little by little. So, I don't have to worry about it. But... I'll talk to you in a bit. So, guys. Today, I guess it was okay. I mean, I didn't talk to anybody. Hardly anybody was there at work. So, I mean, I just kept to myself. I just did my own little thing. Um, this morning, I went in. I, you know, did what I had to do. After lunch, I started sweeping and... Uh, just so I can stay out of the office. Um, so I'm on my way to home. It wasn't that big of a thing today. I kept to myself. I didn't talk to nobody. Actually, I didn't talk to anybody. Maybe to my friend, but she left about 12 o'clock. That was the only one that I talked to. Um, besides that little girl, the new girl. I mean, but all she talked. She was the one doing more, uh, the most talking. I didn't say anything. I just kept my mouth shut. I was like, uh, uh-huh. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know, you know, things like that. So, um, 
just let her have her say so, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's just to, all day today, my back has been hurting like so bad. I've been having like sharp pains on my back. I can feel like things going down my legs, like little sharp pains going down my legs. Oh my God, like excruciating pain. Um, I know I have to get inje injections pretty soon, but I don't know when, but I know I'm due for some. Um, but as of right now, I'm in so much pain. I mean, yeah, I'm driving and it's hurting. When You know how you push the gas to go? Just pushing the gas and having that, um, just pushing a little bit, moving my leg a little bit, just a sharp pain going down uh, from my back to my leg. It's just, a, any little movement, is, I'm just in pain. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, when I get home, I'm not even, I usually make supper for my husband, make him food for work, and then let him take his shower and do what he has to do, but I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a shower first before he does, just because I am in so much pain. I think I just need the water to, like, hot water or warm water like to hit my lower back maybe it'll feel a lot better I think I'm gonna put my I have this little machine I bought a couple of years ago it still works and it like does like a massage on your back um, for pain it, it works like you wouldn't believe like it works real good i don't know if it's gonna work good on me because i'm in so much pain i'm like literally in pain in so much pain that i just want to cry but i'm trying to keep it in i'm trying to keep it to myself but um i don't know how it's gonna how i'm gonna do tonight whenever i um go to sleep because I told my husband that the bed's making me like hurt real bad I don't know why but I guess we'll see see what happens I'll let y'all know how tonight goes because I'm like literally in so much pain but yeah um So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take a shower. I'm just going to tell her I'm going to take a shower before you, just so I won't have to worry about hurting or anything while I'm making him food. But usually that's how it happen, how it goes, you know? But... I don't know. I, I can't do anything else. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I have a heating pad. I can put that on. But, I mean, either way, I don't know if this sharp pain is going to go away or not. Or if it's just going to stay there. I'm just kind of scared because I don't know what the doctor's going to say whenever I tell him that I'm hurting real bad. I can't even walk right either. Like, I walk and I have, like, a limp. Like, not really a limp, but, like, I kind of walk and it's like a... Like, I can barely step on one side, on my right side. And that on my right side, on my knee, I have... Um, on my knee, my knee is numb from my lower back, like... I guess it's on a nerve or something that my knee is like totally numb. I can't feel on my knee. I don't know why. It's just I told the doctor about it and he just kind of freaked out. He's like, 
well, how? Huh. Hey everyone. Um, I am home. I took a shower uh, before my husband um, got in there. He's barely getting up for work. So, anyways, he's barely getting up for work, and I already cooked for him. I got his food ready. He's good to go. Um, my back is still hurting, so I'm going to go ahead and take these little puppies out. Um, I'm just I'm just frustrated right now because my back's hurting. Um, but, yeah. So let's get these little guys out. guys I got my teeth out um today was the first day that I um use the powder with the um Dr. B's adhesive um actually I didn't like the way it stuck so I'm gonna try it tomorrow without it again and see how it feels but today it felt real good it felt like it was stuck in there and I have no problems with it um I did have a lot of oozing coming out all morning long, but I mean, it went away after a little while. It was just in the back. Sorry about my dog. I hope everybody had a great day. Um, I hope y'all have a great night. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if y'all haven't already. Hit that little bell to get notified whenever I post a video. And uh, until tomorrow.